What does it mean to be a paladin? A paladin is a warrior of Innos. He lives in order to serve him and fights in order to do him honor. In return, the gift of magic is bestowed upon us. The magic of runes, which we are granted as recognition for our deeds. Can you teach me something? I only instruct paladins. I've got no time for things like that. Is it really true? I've got no time for things like that. What's so great was the wrath of Belial for us. Show me your wares. How do you make a living now? I don't know, but at any rate, no more shady dealings for me. That much is clear. That's no secret. See that? I can't help him. He really didn't deserve that. Will it ever change? I think this bow belongs to you. My bow? Where did you find it? In a dark hole full of rats. I hope you didn't get into trouble. No, I've done this kind of thing before. <laughs> Thank you anyway. I owe you for this. How are things in town? If the orcs really show up to besiege us, it's gonna get unpleasant around here. There's only one ship, and the paladins are guarding it, and I don't think they'll use it to rescue the citizens. Is there no other way of getting out of here? No, none of us can leave this island without a ship. Show me your wares. Wait a minute. There you are again. Are you still working for the Paladins? I finished the commission from Lord Hagen. Now I'm making magic ore blades for him. But for pay this time. But I also have the time again to make a few weapons on the side for the merchants in the marketplace. So, if you're looking for a good blade, you should try them. Tell me more about magic ore blades. Creating a magic blade is a very complicated and expensive process, but the result is a blade that's easy to handle and practically indestructible. The blade is certainly of good quality, but it will only show its true power in the hands of a paladin. A paladin sword is consecrated by Inos. As a result, the magic blade becomes an enchanted weapon that does incomparable damage. I want to buy a magic ore blade. I can only sell magic blades to the paladins. And even then, only one each. Teach me how to forge a decent sword. It's quite simple, boy. Get a piece of raw steel and hold it in the fire until it glows. Then you pound the blade into shape on the anvil. Come back once you have more experience.
Hey. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. I have a message for Master Isgaroth. He guards the shrine in front of the monastery. If you run this errand for me, you get to choose your own reward. I'll do it. Good. Then take the message and choose one of these spell scrolls. When you have delivered the message, I shall reward you accordingly. I'll take the Spell of Light. Good. So be on your way to Master Isgaroth now. Great! Here, take a few potions as a reward. Can you make me a prophecy? Yes. Time has progressed. And I shall give you a prophecy in return for a few coins. How much? For a paltry 100 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. Tell me about the future. All right, son of bravery. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? A mercenary. He will need you. A terrible murder. The eye, the sinister henchmen, they are coming, searching for you. A guardian will fall, but the three shall unite. Only then. Shall you receive what is yours? That's all. There's nothing more I can see. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinnus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself accordingly. Let's begin with the training. Really, how interesting. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Show me your wares. He simply talks too much. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. That okay? Yes, but I'm not going out of the city anymore. At least not any time soon. My knees are still shaking from the scare that orc gave Someone's us. Gotta do the work. And it's gonna get even worse. Everybody knows by now. Show me your wares. Take your pick. And he works all day, too. I've got to go. That's Suit yourself. These are bad times. Really? How interesting.
I'm gonna rip you to pieces. You're in for it. Nothing there.
Nothing there. I'm going to rip you to pieces. Ah! You deserve that low life.
Did you run away too? What makes you think that? Why would you come here all alone? There's nothing here. I only wanted to have a look around. Okay, be my guest. Would you like a piece of meat? Yes, gladly. Here, the finest leg of mole rat, according to my own recipe. So why are you here? I can get a bit of peace up here. I always feel so restricted in the city. Don't you have to work? Everything I need I can get for myself. I cut the arrows and nature provides the meat. So you're a hunter? Yes, if you want to call it that. But I only hunt what I need for myself, not to earn money. In that case, I'm sure you can teach me something. Why not? I could show you how to handle a bow.
Nothing to be had there. Wait a minute. I've got to go. So long. I really wish I could have done more for you. Wait a minute. How much money do you need for the contest? Ten gold coins. I'll give you the money to compete against, Rukar. Really? Thank you so much. I'll repay you soon. If I win, I'll even fork out a little more than that. I'll be seeing you. You to pieces. You shouldn't have come here. So much for you. Not even any gold. <laughs> I think I'll take your weapon. Wait a minute. Nothing to be had there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Come here, damn beast.
Come here, damn beast. Hey, I've still got it. Come here, damn beast. Hey, I've still got it. Come here, damn beast. Send those beasts to kingdom come. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there.
Uh, I think I've found something. Hey! You're the farmer here? You could say so, but I'm really just a tenant. All the land here is owned by one big farmer. How do you make a living? Mostly hunting, and the wood we cut. Of course, we also raise sheep and work the land. o and r saddles me with all these laborers, and I have to keep them busy somehow. Only a few of them are good hunters, you see. Has anything strange happened around here lately? Many strange things are happening these days, but none as strange as the mysterious disappearance of Pardos. He's one of my field workers, and certainly not the kind who would drop everything overnight and slink off just like that, you see. What exactly is so strange about his disappearance? Pardos is such a timid sort. The furthest he's ever been from the farm is to the end of my fields. He would run away at the mere sight of a meat bug. Those things may not be pretty to look at, but you really couldn't call them dangerous. They say there's people who eat them. Gross. You get used to it. Maybe he was simply fed up. Working in the fields was his life. I cannot imagine him having gone to work for another farmer. With me, he could do whatever he wanted. Any clues at all? I think those bandits must have dragged him off. They've been roaming around this area for days now. I once saw them drag a citizen of the town off to their camp. It looked like they were gonna make him a slave. Where is this bandit camp? At the far end of my fields, some steps lead down to a small hollow. That's where they have made themselves at home. I'd like to go look for Pardos there, but there's no way I'm going up against those guys. And you would better give him a wide berth, too. They're not known for their sense of humor. Were the bandits carrying weapons when they passed by here? What kind of stupid question is that? How would they be bandits if they weren't armed? I mean a whole load of weapons, a big delivery. I see. Yes. Now that you mention it, they were carrying lots and lots. Some in barrels, some in bags, and some on the cart they brought. You're employing day laborers? Onar sends away the workers he can't use on his farm. Then, he sends them to me. I feed them and they work here for me. What do you think of Onar? <laughs> He's a greedy bastard who'll get us all hanged in the end. One of these days, the paladins will come out of the city and make us small farmers bleed for what he's doing here. But I haven't got a choice. The militiamen only come here to collect and not to defend the farm. If I held myself loyal to the city, I'd be very much on my own. At least Onar sends some mercenaries now and then to see how we're doing. Balthazar the shepherd isn't allowed on your pasture? Oh yeah, that story. I told him Sekob should pay me money if he wanted to lead the sheep into my pasture. To tell the truth, that's only harassment. I just can't stand Balthazar.
Hey! Everything all right? Sure. What are you doing here? I'm the shepherd here. It's not exactly a demanding job. But now and then, you really have to watch out. Especially if you get too close to the pass. Hey, you! What do you know about the pass? Not much. Just that it leads to the old Valley of Mines that was surrounded by the barrier until a few weeks ago. Back then, the only thing we farmers had to be afraid of was the monthly caravan that took all kinds of goods to the Valley of Mines. Those cutthroats often made life difficult for us out here. Where can I find the pass to the old Valley of Mines? Near the two waterfalls on the other side of the high pastures. What is it they say about the Valley of Mines? All sorts of things. Some of the boys say they've heard screams at night. Some have seen strange lights over the mountains. But if you ask me, it's all just old wives' tales. Have you ever been to the Valley of Mines? No, but I go near the pass once in a while. Then I always see those two paladins who stand around and keep watch. It looks like they're making sure that nothing comes out of the valley. Back then, the Valley of Mines was a natural prison. If you went in, you never came out again. Tell me more about the Paladins. How long have they been posted there? A week or two, I suppose. I don't know exactly. Some time ago, there was even a whole troop of them that disappeared into the pass. Since then, I haven't seen them again. I don't see any women here at all. You got that right. This is a man's farm, so to speak. Works pretty well, I think. Don't work too hard. I'll try. You've got a lot of space up here. It's nice enough. But if you go through the pass back there, you won't think so much longer. <laughs> if this little tract of land has impressed you, then wait till you see the Valley of Mines back there. Why are you looking so solemn? You're wearing our aquamarine ring. You belong to the Ring of Water? I certainly do. Good to see a new face in our ranks. What's your task within the Ring of Water? I keep an eye on the entrance to the pass, to see who goes in and out. Since the Paladins have closed the gate to the pass, however, there hasn't been much coming and going. Have you heard of those missing people? Of Course I have. That's why we're supposed to keep our eyes open. But I haven't seen much that would give you a clue, tell you the truth. Who are you? My name is Gan. I'm a hunter and work for Bengar, the farmer here on the high pastures. I spend most of my time here outside, basking in the sun. What do I need to know about the Valley of Mines? No idea. I'm only taking a fleeting glance at the valley. Look pretty dangerous. The best thing to do if you go there, through the pass, is to stay close to the beaten track. Either you take the way through the big gorge or the road over the stone bridge. That one is shorter and safer. Now that the orcs are roaming all over the place, you have to be a bit careful. I don't want to have to drag you to the Herb Witch. Herb Witch? Her name is Sagita, and she's the healer for the farmers and the other people who live outside the harbor city. A truly curious female. No one really likes going to her, and everybody enjoys gossiping about her. But if you're sick, you won't find better help than Sagita in her kitchen full of healing herbs. You'll find her in the strip of woods behind Sekub's farm. How's the hunting? 
The last animal I could bring down was a large rat. Not very encouraging and bad for business. For several days now, some kind of snorting beast has been roaming the area. It not only kills everything that moves, it also interferes with my work. What does this dangerous beast look like? I don't know exactly. Up to now, I mostly heard grunting and scratching. But I've seen what it can do. Even wolves aren't safe from it. The beast even bit the head off of one. How much would you pay me if I killed that beast for you? I'd give the person who killed it everything I could spare. Thirty gold pieces. Where does this scummy beast come from? Somewhere from outside the woods. Maybe from the Valley of Mines, but I don't know for sure. I've never been to the Valley of Mines. I think I've found something. Okay. <laughs> 
gonna rip you to pieces! That. Ah. Will you put away that damn weapon? Smart kid. Nothing to be had there. Thank goodness. The bandits are done for. You have saved my life. Who are you? My name is Elvridge. I come from town. Master Thorben told me that you had disappeared. Those lowly scum dragged me off here and were keeping me prisoner. Lots of people are missing in town. I don't know anything about missing people. I can only tell you what happened to me. What exactly happened to you? I was on my way to the rendezvous I had set up with my girl. Her name is Lucia. We've been planning to get away to the mountains and away from the town and all those who live there. I had just arrived at the meeting point when suddenly some of these bandits sprang out from the underbrush and captured us both. I put up a fight, of course, but to no avail. There were just too many of them. You didn't happen to see them. Tell me about Lucia. A girl from the Harbor District. She used to work for that horrible Bromor. She's very pretty. What did the bandits want with you? Sometimes I could overhear them at night. I didn't get everything, but I think they wanted to make us slaves. Where were they going to take you? To a place somewhere here on the island of Corinus, but I think one can't get there without a ship. They brought me to a mooring place on the coast. Some pirates were camped out there. One of the bandits approached the pirates to negotiate. They were having a fierce argument. I think the bandit wanted the pirates to ferry him somewhere, along with me. But the pirates wouldn't have it. So the bandits withdrew, and we've been sitting around here ever since. They seemed to be rather at a loss, and then you came. Where's the pirates' mooring place? Not far from the harbor of Corinus. When you stand on the quay and look out to the sea, all you need to do is get a boat and go to the right along the coast. The first small bay you come across is the mooring place I was talking about. Pirates in Corinus? I don't know very much about them. I first clap eyes on one of them at the mooring place. They always stay in the background. Every single one of them is a wanted criminal in Corinus. They're afraid of the gallows. That's why you're never going to meet one of them in town. Bromore says Lucia walked off with a golden dish. Well, if Lucia really stole from Bromore, the bandits will certainly have taken the thing from her. Where's Lucia now? We parted ways at the big crossroads in front of Onar's farm. 
The bandits dragged Lucia off to the woods behind Sekop's farm. May Enos protect her. Did the bandits who held you captive receive a shipment of weapons? Oh yes, so many that they could barely carry them. They took the whole caboodle and disappeared towards Sekop's farm. You should get yourself back to town in a hurry. What else would I be doing? I'm going straight back to my master Thorben. Will you go look for the bandits? Well, yes, I think so. If you find Lucia, get her safely back to town, will you? I'll see what I can do. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there.
Uh, I think I've found something. I found your buried things. Then you should be carrying about a hundred gold coins, a golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet. And they're all mine. Give them here. Here's your stuff. A bag with 100 gold coins, a golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet. Very good. You're lucky that you weren't dumb enough to simply take the stuff and run. Here's your share of the booty. One more thing. I'm grateful that you helped me, but that doesn't make us friends if you get my drift. There's another of those scummy beasts. Hey, you! The next time you'll pay on time, understand? 
what did I do to deserve this? Has anyone blown your nose for you today? Leave me alone, you idiot. Hey! What can you offer me? What do you want? You're in for it now. Thanks for the gold, you hero. 
I think I had better take this weapon. I'm gonna rip you to pieces. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there.
All by yourself out here? Tell me what you want of me, and then go away! I'm busy! Who are you? You haven't heard of me, then. Herb witch, they say. Quack, they call me. But when they're in a bad way, they all suddenly remember good old Sagita and her healing herbs. What are you doing out here? I've been living here for as long as I can remember, attending to my herbs. The forest is my friend. It offers me all that I need. Can you heal me? That's what you came for, isn't it? Just let me know when there's something wrong with you. What wares do you have to offer? Tell me what you want. Thecla sent me to pick up a package for her. Ah, yes. I had actually expected her days ago. Here's the package. Take good care of it. Can you teach me your herbal lore? How interesting. I don't get asked that very often. So you want to be my student? Then you'll first have to prove your request is serious. At the moment, I am working on a very rare potion made from exquisite herbs and juices. If you can get me one ingredient, a very rare herb, which I don't have here, I shall train you. What ingredient is that? It's an extremely rare plant, an herb called sun aloe. You can recognize it by its intensive almond scent. Where can I find this ingredient? The herb I require only grows in places where it can get all the nutrients it needs. These are found in the excrements of a black troll. That's why it's so difficult for me to get the herb, you see? Let's see if I can get hold of it somewhere. Well then, good luck with your search. Heal me. Let me see. Hmm. My ointment will take care of the worst of your wounds.
Nothing to be had there. You're still here after all. I thought we'd agreed that I should let you depart in peace. You really should have listened to me. the first I've heard of it. Hey! What about forging equipment? What do you need? Nothing amazes me anymore. Hey, you! Can I buy weapons from you? I don't have much. We take almost all the swords and axes into Onar's house. Old thing all over again. 
I'm in enough trouble as it is. I want to improve my abilities. I said I could help you, not that I would. As long as you aren't one of us, you can find someone else to instruct you. He never would have thought of that himself. You don't have to tell me that. I've got my own opinion about that. Got my own opinion about that these days. He didn't get that from me. That will never change. What weapons do you have to offer? Only the best. Just take a look at them. That's no secret. Nothing amazes me anymore. What weapon? Only. I see you've placed yourself on the surface of the Paladins. You can't become a mercenary anymore now, but who knows, maybe you can do one or two things for me, or me for you. We'll see. In any case, I wish you all the best. But don't even think of pulling the wool over my eyes, got it? I've got quite obvious. Like that. So don't tell me that. Nobody will learn anything from me. No one really wants to hear that. that. I hardly know what to believe anymore. Will it ever change? You hardly know who to believe these days. It was his decision, wasn't it? Well, he thought as much. But no, he insisted he knew better. Wait a minute. Teach me how to fight. I could train you to use a one-handed sword, but you're not good enough yet to wield a two-hander. I don't waste my time with beginners. It was just like you said. Is it really true? I'd have gone about it differently. You've become better already. Keep it up. I get so worked up. Is it really true? That was obvious all along. Nothing to plunder. Better watch out when you come along. That's no secret. That's nothing what new. Know about you? Nobody wants to know. Those are all just rumors. One is more, believe me. 
Nobody ever asked him. He really should have known better. There that was no big deal. more trouble. Eh, been there, done that. How are things? So-so. Those mercenaries aren't much help, really. I had expected them to have a little more guts, at least. But they're just a bunch of braggarts and loudmouths, if you ask me. What was your business with the mercenaries? I already told you I'm looking for this fellow in red armor. But the idiots here have no idea what I'm talking about. I take it you're looking for someone named Dexter? Damn it, how would I know the fellow's name? I know where you can find him. Really? Tell me! Not far from here. He seems to be the leader of an evil gang of bandits. Ha! Yup, that's him. I knew the old landlubber would hold up here somewhere. Now, all I need to do is scour all the hideouts and rat holes around here. I'll find that bastard, don't need your help for that. Halt! You can't go through here. I want to talk to your leader. Oh, I see. You want to talk to my boss. Well, then of course I'll let you through. But only if you know his name. Because if you don't, I'll be obliged to kill you. Well? Those are all just rumors. Dexter. Well, I guess you know the boss. Okay, I'll let you through. But I'm warning you. You get too close to anybody, you won't get out of here alive. So take a deep breath and leave your weapons where they are. You'll find Dexter in the house. I couldn't care less. Uh, he really should have known better. Anything's possible. Things would have turned out different. Look who's here, the great emancipator. Well, hero, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a few answers. I never thought you'd come here voluntarily. What do you mean by that? I mean that I've been looking for you. Haven't you seen any of my wanted posters? They all bear your mug. Oh yes, you're very much wanted. Didn't you know that? So, what do you want from me? Me? Nothing whatsoever. 
but my boss is hell-bent on seeing you dead. So he wants me to find you and bring him your head. They say that you're kidnapping people from Corinus. So you found that out too. Good work, Buster. And here I was thinking I had covered my tracks. Where did those people disappear to? Maybe down the mine somewhere here? <laughs> They're far away in the northeast by now where you can't get to them. I could show you where exactly, but I don't know why I would want to do that. Who gave you this order? My boss. He's a dangerous man. You know him. Raven, one of the former ore barons from the old camp in the Valley of Mines. He needs those people to fulfill his plans, and that's all you need to know. An ore baron here in Corinus? He's no longer an ore baron. He's got plans of his own, and Corinus will feel that before long. Raven? Dangerous? Oh well. What do you know? You don't know him like I do. He was a miserable swine even back then, but these days, he has changed since the fall of the barrier. There's a black shadow across his face. His fierce glance will pierce you like the claws of a raptor if you look into his eyes for too long. My only advice to you is leave Corinus as fast as you can before it's too late. There's nothing here for you except for certain death. There's this fellow with an eye patch. He's looking for you. Everybody's looking for me. I couldn't care less. If that guy has some business with me, let him come here. And what do you intend to do now? Kill me? Yeah, but you set us all free. That's why I'm giving you another chance. Beat it, disappear, make yourself invisible. Go and don't cross my path again. I need to know where you brought those people. <laughs> well, you could try beating it out of me. It's better for you if you leave now. If I see you around here again, I won't hesitate to kill you. Uh, he really should have known better. Nothing's ever... Ah! Just you wait, you son of a bitch! You're in trouble now. Never pick a fight with me again. Do I have to show you again who's boss? Where is that swine? Who, the captain? He's right here. Then get out of my way. You're in now. You should ah. So much. The bastard doesn't even have any gold on him. Hey! Ah, Dexter bought it, right? Looks like he's dead. None too soon, either. Go check out what he's got on him. Dexter carried nothing but this letter. Show me that thing. Ah, oh, damn it, that doesn't help me at all. We shouldn't have just let him croak like that. You wouldn't happen to know how to cross those mountains in the northeast of Corinus. Maybe through an underground tunnel? The water mages are currently studying a portal which leads to the mountains in the northeast. What's this nonsense? Bah, water mages. Can't you come up with something better? No. So I'm stranded here. Dexter was my last hope. What did you want from Dexter? I've come from beyond the mountains in the northeast of this island, and I want to go back. 
I had hoped that the bastard would know how to get there without a ship. I saw a pirate named Skip near the port. That moron. I waited there for three days, so why is he coming so late? Once I get my strength back, I'll give him what for. What is there beyond those mountains? You had better not try to go there. Those are rough lands a wimp like you wouldn't last long. One more thing. I am grateful that you helped me, but that doesn't make us friends if you get my drift. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had there. You haven't seen the last of me! You're into it now. You're in for...